Hey everybody, Rodman here. Thanks for tuning in to Star Sector. So we left off running missions out in the corner of nowhere. Um, and my current mission has me analyzing a derelict ship near an inactive gate. So here's the inactive gate. We're going to fly over there. Uh, this episode, I'm hoping to build up a little bit of my credits. We're already pretty decent because we um, did some missions. But uh, for the aim of... Um, trying to upgrade our ship, or rather even to change ships. So this Shepherd class drone tender just told us where um, a uh, mining station, what was it again? A mining station is. Uh, this one tells me where our uh, farmland is. Here's the one that I had the mission to. And that part is done. Try not to go over my supplies. Uh, ox tugs, I'm not going to consider ship recovery. These are really, really good when you have a giant fleet of very, very slow, massive ships. They help to speed up your fleet. Uh, but they cost a lot of um, fuel and supplies to keep running. So don't use them until you need them is sort of my theory. You also have to be careful about who's around you. So this is a giant salvage fleet that could crush me if they wanted to. Oh, here's a hound that I can recover. They're like a really, really small um, uh, cargo ship of sorts. So I'm gonna throw some capacitors and vents in there and name it, I'm just gonna name it hound. It's a pirate class ship, so it's been tuned for fighting um, and not cargo, but whatever. It's all I got. And then I'm going to rename my Condor class Talon. So now that I have that uh, hound, I can store a little bit more in my inventories here. But we are just about... Oh, orbital habitat location. We're just about out of things to take. There we are. And now we have to decide where to go to next. So we did both missions. I want to check out the adequate farmland that's up here at Damar Star. So let's go do that. Uh, when you're looking for things to interact with, they tend to be... Sure, I'll install a column smith sniffer here. Uh, things to interact with tends to be um, in asteroid belts, orbiting the suns and moons. They don't... You're not going to find a whole lot, like, out in the middle of nowhere. Okay, here's coin, uh, case in point. Is There's a uh, mule-class combat freighter here with a pod, with a lieutenant in it. I just added one more to my fleet. One more uh, officer. So, she is, ugh, I'm gonna dismiss her. She's a missile-based officer, and I don't tend to like missile ships, because once they fire, oh boy. That is a pirate fleet that's trying to intercept me, and I saw it before it got jump drop on me. I could probably win the fight, but right now my ships are totally fat full of loot. So there's really not an advantage to fighting. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, I don't I don't like uh, pirate, I mean, I don't like um, missile ships because once they fire off all their missiles, they're done. Like they don't really have ordnance left. And for long sustained fights, they're just gonna run out of missiles before the fight's over. All right, so here's the Mars star. Uh, let's read the intel here. So this would be in um, exploration. Uh, adequate farmland is at a tundra world some distance away from the star. Just go try to find that. Here is, uh, here's the tundra world. They're kind of color-coded, so like a volcanic world's gonna be red, tundra's gonna be like bluish. 
the colder it is, the more blue it will be. And it has a de uh, debris field out there, I think. All right, so here we go. It's a 125 hazard rating, which is really low. And it has scattered ruins. That's pretty much what I came out here. Generally speaking, if it's habitable, it probably has ruins. Most habitable places has ruins. And it looks like I just got something really cool. High-tech blueprint package, allowing me to build apogee ships, strike ships, wolf ships, and a bunch of different weapons and fighters. Um, that sounds good to me. Let me go learn that. And here's a debris field, which gives me survey data for Surreal. For Surreal. I also leveled up. So let me get um, maximum burn level. So it increases my burn level and then also the burn level gained from sustained burn. So it essentially my fleet is faster. And as you can see, I'm going all the way up to max speed of 20, which is great. Uh, so I also got survey data for Surreal. So Surreal's down here in Smock. Um, and rather than laying in a point, I got all the survey data. So what I could do is just show system info. And here is Surreal. It is the only planet orbiting a binary system. And it has rare ore or toxic atmosphere, techno techno activity, heat, low gravity, um, and no ruins or anything like that. So there's no point in going. Um, if you're trying to look for stuff, doing sensor bursts, it's a really good way to try to find like hidden ships and whatnot for you to explore. It's also a really good way to broadcast your location to anyone that wants to destroy your fleet. So it's a double-edged sword. As you can see, there's some sort of fleet here eyeballing me. It's a, it's definitely, it's fleeing from me. So I'm bigger than it or more powerful than it. Um, all right, so next up, let's go ahead to the Merkheim mining station. So I don't need to go to Smock. Uh, I already have all the intel there. And this is way outside the um, the other places, way outside my uh, my range. Now let's try to avoid flying into the storms. I don't want to use up all my supplies. I'm also um, not. Oop, there, I just flew in. I'm not insignificantly low on fuel. Now, it's possible that I salvaged some fuel from wherever I'm headed. This, uh, I think it's what, a mining station? Yeah. It's possible that I salvaged some fuel from the mining station, but um, it's important not to run out of fuel because it does, oops, ouch. And we're gonna get hit again. It does maroon, oh no, we dodged it. We're, it, it would maroon you, and you don't wanna be marooned out in space. Uh, when you're marooned, you can, put out a distress call um, but it doesn't mean that nice people are going to answer the distress call <laughs> or if they're going to answer it in a reasonable amount of time oh here's a mercury class ship that I could recover sure why not I'm just going to call you mercury put some capacitors and vents on it. All right, so the, I'm here. What is this, another little mercury shovel? I'm only grabbing it to expand my um, cargo capacity. So the mining station is near an arid world. There it is. There is a lot of other activity around here. So here's the mining station. A lot of stuff. Sort of as promised. Cool. And then I'm going to survey uh, Evaldi. Because it's an arid world potentially having something interesting. So let's perform survey. Scattered ruins again. So then let's explore the ruins. And it gave me surveying equipment. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. Let's learn that. All right. So there is a... Oh, they're pursuing me. Let's 
Nope, they're sort of pursuing me. The um the gray like ley lines or whatever you want to call it is sort of um where their sensor range is. Uh, so, like, let's say you have two really, really small pirate fleets, or not small, two slightly smaller than you pirate fleets. Individually, they might flee from you. Together, they might build up the, the guts to attack you. Um, like, this one is investigating me and then burning away. But if uh, he got reinforced, um, right, here's some fuel. If he got reinforced by another fleet, it's possible that they pick the fight because together they are stronger than they are apart. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, you definitely want to be careful about moving around too many potentially hostile fleets because they could they could team up on you and, and destroy you. All right, so I've filled my cargo bay. Uh, I think it's time for me to exit before that scavenger, hostile scavenger fleet interdicts me. I just snuck out right at the last second. And I'm going to beeline for uh, Elmar. It's an independent world. Um, it is, how many days away is it? Oh, it is 17 days at current burn level, so never mind. I'm gonna go to a different place. Okay, good, they didn't pick a fight because uh, I'm really low on fuel. So I'm actually purposely gonna fly into these storms. These storms are going to burn my um, my supplies up, but I will travel faster without the fuel. It's a little weird, but if you find yourself really, really low on fuel, you can purposely fly into a storm and the storm propels you, albeit slow, but it propels you um, forward. So now I'm four days away from the planet I want to resupply at, and I have 50, I have, you know, some fuel. So here we are, uh, is this it? Yes, we're going to Madrea or Cibola. I'm gonna turn on my transponder, uh, and Let's go into the Canaria gravity well, even though I'm like basically out of fuel. I'm gonna be picky, because this puts me right next to the planet. All right, repair my ships, and I will do my trading on the black market. What do they have? Makeshift shields, insulated, right, I don't really care what they have. Selling all the beautiful stuff that I got on the black market, I'm gonna sell a lot of my, um, I'm gonna sell a lot of my uh, heavy machinery too. Uh, let's resupply on food and uh, and supplies, or uh, fuel and supplies rather. Confirm that. Take a look what they have for sale on the black market. Expanded magazines, heavy armor, advanced gyros. All pretty useful, but I'm not necessarily gonna buy that. Uh, let's see what they have in terms of um, ships. So looking to buy ships, <laughs> I could afford a Prometheus tanker, but I shouldn't buy it. So Colossus heavy freighters um, are really good at storing lots of uh, cargo. The Phaeton tankers are really good at storing fuel. Uh, the Civil Starliners are good at storing, you know, um, crew and 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 uh, Marines. Uh, I'm a little tempted to buy a heavy freighter for the storage so that I can salvage more things when I, uh, in battle. But uh, the error with that would be I really want to save up for a better ship. Mora carriers are actually pretty good class ships, but I'm after a Sunder. So I'm gonna buy this black market Sunder. That's the type of ship I particularly like to use, one of them at least. And then I'm going to buy a Colossus and a Phaeton. Big, big, big purchases here. I'm gonna go ahead and um, sell on the black market. Sell my little Mercury, I don't really care about it. Sell my Hound, don't care about it. Um, okay, and then let's repair my ships because when I purchased them, they weren't at 70%, uh, they were at like 50%. I'm going to 
put myself into the Sunder. Um, and let's name it the Radamanthine. And then into the old Hammerhead, I'm going to call this uh, Gaze into the Void. Which is gonna name gonna be a name that travels around with me. I'm gonna put Vree Dog in there, and then the old Gaze into the Void is going to be uh, Talon, and then the old Talon is back to just Condor. All right. Uh, so the new this is a new giant um, cargo ship. I don't even think I'm gonna put weapons on it. It is never intended to get into combat. Uh, but what I will do is put militarized subsystems. So one of the important things here is... Well, let me go back out to the fleet screen. So in the fleet screen, all of these ships have a um, max burn. This one is of 9. This one is of 7. And this is of 8. Uh, so right now, if I am a sustained burn... Uh, they wanted to scan my ship. If I'm sustained burning, I'm sustained burning of... Um, of 16 speed, which is pretty slow. So let me refit my ships here. And here I'm going to add the militarized subsystems, which increases my uh, burn speed. I'm also going to do expanded cargo holds and un unstable injector, which makes it move faster. So if you look at the top speed, it's 40 now, it's up to 55. That way, if I um, if these guys ever get attacked, uh, they can flee from combat a little faster. I should put some ballistic turrets on it, but um, I'm not going to because uh, uh, because if they get caught, they're probably just going to get destroyed. So now I can go up to 18 speed, as you can see. That's my max burn level because this ship now has a sustain burn of plus one because of the subsystems. So this is, uh, it's a little bit faster. You only can move as fast as your slowest ship. And there's there's other mods that I'll, I might happen upon later that make me be able to burn even quicker than that. So in my fuel ship here, oh, you know what? I also want to, um, I want to sell my old tanker. I don't need that anymore now I have this uh, this better one. Uh, let's rename these. So this is just going to be tanker. And this is going to be um, freighter. My tanker is going to get unstable injector, militarized subsystems as well. Uh, it's also because the, um, the supply and combat readiness is reduced. Uh, but it increases the maximum crew. Uh, let's add fuel tanks and additional berthing maybe yeah teeny bit of capacity all right so this ship is all decked out doesn't have any weapons and then we have my uh my sunder here which does also did not come with weapons so i'm gonna put a plasma cannon on it which is a super huge weapon that's one of the advantages of sunder is it gets a really devastating, um, uh, a devastating main attack. Uh, and then what else do I want? I want auxiliary thrusters for maneuverability, extended shields for 100, uh, 360 degree shields. And that's all I want in there. I'm just gonna, for now, I, there's not a lot of good weapons for me to buy here, I don't think. Um, there is some dinky point defense and that's about it so I've just I'm going to have one weapon on it for now mostly because I just don't see um, better weapons here to put on I don't really like my choices, my offerings at this place. So uh, let's continue over to, let's go sector. I'd like to go, uh, 
to Hybrasil. That is a high-tech... I'm going to try to buy stuff off the high-tech worlds. Uh, but I'm quite pleased with my increased... my better ship. It should be really, really fun. Additionally, with the uh, maxed-out navigation, I can do a, a... It's called a transverse jump. So let's say I have enemies spawn camping the exit gates. Uh, the transverse jump uses extra uh, fuel and whatnot, but it allows you to jump out from an anywhere. I'm gonna take a pit, quick pit stop over to Edfell, or whatever it's called, what is it called? Eldfell, which is an independent world. Let's see if there's any weapons for me to buy. Heavy blasters and minor blasters. They have, uh... I'm just going to put some basic point defense. Oops, that's not what I meant. There we go. Basic point defense on it. I'll put those as five and put them on auto. No, so they didn't, they didn't have anything I wanted. So with my additional freighter and tanker, I'm going to have a lot... A, a much increased range for where I can go and a much increased storage for what I can take which is very very important to you know build up your wealth um, so I see a lot of missions that are passing me by once I have a decent ship one that I feel is viable in combat because that hammerhead I had was damaged and not great uh, I will start taking some cool missions and surveying the uh, surrounding areas so this is a high-tech world. So they have ion cannons and point defense lasers. I'm going to buy the point defense lasers. Um, and then... Oh, no, these are, would be very bad for point defense lasers. So the reason why these would be very bad for point defense lasers, they have a really small firing arc. Um, so honestly, ion... Suppression might be... Ion cannons might be better. And then what I think I'm going to do... This ship is really, really well-tuned for... Um, uh, for, like, attack and, and retreat. So I'm going to increase my uh, flux capacity. So, essentially, I'm designing this ship to... To hit very, very, very hard and then get out of dodge. Um... I don't want to take a loan. Uh, some missions. Let's see. So I can analyze a research station out here for the Tritachion. I wouldn't mind doing that. Uh, there is a some bounties on pirate bases, but I'm not quite ready to do that yet. And then surveying a world. Uh, let's analyze a research station. I'm going to accept that. Um, I'm going to stockpile a little bit more on fuel. I'm going to buy it on the black market, which, you know, bothers them a little bit, but whatever. Let's buy all their supplies. So I just paid pretty much every last cent to go do this mission. Um, but there's a weapons cache out there as well that I can accept. I'm going to accept that. It does a mission for the pirates, but one mission that I do for the pirates isn't going to make me an ally of the pirates. It's just that... Whoa! Hold on. I'm going to have to steer around this. That one um, place had two missions, which is rare. So I'll take advantage of that. Oh, what was... Oh, that was an actual fleet. I'm eager to uh, take my new ship for a spin. I just need to find a, an enemy fleet. Did you just interdict me? I think the, they were green, the little tinge that I saw, which means they were Luddites. Uh, who's going over here? A smuggler, a derelict ship, and a pirate, little remnants of a pirate fleet. So over here it will tell me um, 
it will tell me, you know, how much, how, how far the system is, how much fuel it will take to get there, how many days it will take to get there, uh, that kind of info. When you have a course laid in for somewhere. And that way you can gauge, like, do I have enough fuel to get back, etc. So it's, where is it? Oh, I'm not even halfway there. Yeah, distance 12. I, I see that now. My bad. Right, I'm going to hit one of these storms. Now, another way to navigate the storms effectively, so the sustain burn doesn't let you turn very quickly. It's very sluggish, but the uh, emergency burn is a really good way to do it. Or just to cut your sustain burn and then turn it back on. Uh, we're still not there. One system over. This is, uh, this is far enough away from the galactic core that I'm probably not going to colonize out this way. Anytime I have um, ooh, research stations right here. There's the sensor package. And I also got a ton of stuff as a result. So I have a gamma, uh, another gamma core. A storm needler, which is a large anti-shield ballistic weapon. Uh, dual flat cannons, which are really good point defense. Uh, ion beam, which is pretty cool. It's a long range laser. Uh, proximity charge launchers, salamander MRMs, which I actually uh, I like. They are missiles that um, that um, don't have a set amount of uh, of ammo. Uh, longbow blueprints for the longbow wing, which is very cool. The Luddite Church blueprint package, which allows me to build some Luddite Church type ships. Kind of garbage. A corrupted nano forge um, that allows you to manufacture uh, ships and weapons at a slightly increased quality. Corrupted Nano Forge is kind of a garbage one. You want a pristine one when you're doing it. Advanced Gyro, which is really nice mod. Uh, automated Repair, which is a really cool mod. Salamander MRMs, Reaper Torpedo, Typhoon Reaper Torpedo, and a bunch of other stuff. Yeah, that research station had the goods. Uh, so let's learn this. Oh, this, yep, and... I'm probably going to sell the forge too. I don't need it. Uh, and then the station broke apart. So I also got advanced magazines out of that too. Amazing. All right, that was a. Uh... Let me turn off my transponder. I don't need that on in pirates in, in, in you know independent space, pirate space basically. All right, so I'm also looking for the weapon. So it's in an asteroid field, uh, according to the pirates. They want me to recover their weapon cache, and here it is. There's another 60 grand. Uh, high intensity laser, which is an anti-armor laser. That's pretty good. Another Reaper torpedo, sabos, salamanders, dagger. Um, Perdition, Heavy Mauler Blueprints, Xyphos Wing Blueprints, Thunder Wing Blueprints. These are a lot of like fighter blueprints that I will absolutely learn. And these are actually the, the fighters themselves. So I've done both missions I need to do out here. I'm hypothetically done, but um, I poke around a little bit. Hopefully I won't get myself into trouble. Oh, I just leveled up again. So, uh, at this point, hmm, at this point, let me think about what I want most. So, weapon damage would be really nice. Um, maneuverability and top speed. Yeah, I'm going to do maneuverability and top speed. Helmsman up to level two at least. This mining station had a nav relay blue uh, mod, a shield conversion mod, another corrupted nanoforge. It had the goods. It had a lot of goods. 
And then I can also scavenge the asteroid field. Ooh, my goodness. If you look at the base value here, um, 50, 500 grand, pristine nanoforge. That is, uh, that is, that is amazing. Um, that is a lot, a lot of money and a really, 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 really good item. All because I am poking around here. What about this world? It's not likely it has ruins. Actually, I don't even have enough crew to survey it. The bigger the world, the harder it is going to be to survey. But this little rocky ice world over here, I might be able to survey. Yeah, that, that pristine nano forge. So if uh, what their use is for, I could sell it for a ton of money. Uh, but what their use is for is if I colonized a world and I put like a, um, you know, if I started manufacturing ships at that world, that pristine nano forge helps the ships, so it increases the production of that of my, you know, uh, industry, and then it also in increases the quality of the things I make. Both are really important. Uh, I'll survey here. I don't think there's anything here. No, there's nothing here. I just did it anyway. So I've done both those missions. Um, I'm gonna transverse jump. So this is what it looks like just to demonstrate. It charges up and then I just jump out of the system wherever I was. Um, so I'm gonna start moving back to the galactic, I'm gonna call this like the galactic core because it is sort of in the center. It's this, you know. Um, but I'll keep my eyes open on my way home. Ooh, that ship there, that was a um, DRAM-styled tanker that I salvaged, and it had a lot of fuel in it. Because, you know, it was a tanker ship that obviously became derelict. Jeez, uh, this is a really active hyperstorms. I'm not going to respond to distress calls. I'm not a dummy. So most of the... Oh, are you pursuing me? Hmm, part of me is like, if I had a better wingman, if he wasn't in like a broken down hammerhead, I might consider that. The AI don't control all ships equally. Some ships, they are much better at piloting than others. So ships that are like technically difficult, like actually the Sunder I'm currently in. The Sunder is a bit of a glass cannon ship. Uh, the AI are very terrible, in my opinion. Um, commanding the Sunders. Uh, others, they're a lot better at, like ships that are, um... Uh-oh, there is a distress call going on here. Uh, let me enter at a fringe point. Now, if there's someone spawn camping the fringe point, it's gonna warn me that, like, you detect signatures on the other side, and it tries to warn you. So the reason I came here is I'm looking for potential places to colonize in the future. Not anytime soon. Like, this is episodes down the line. Oh. They are hailing me. Uh, what are they saying? So this was a... They need 10 fuel. They'll pay 1,500 credits. Sounds reasonable. We'll provide the fuel. I just bailed them out. But they were also sitting on a domain era probe, which has some automated defense. So I'm gonna fight this. I'm gonna use my ship and my hammerhead and deploy. I'm gonna tell my hammerhead to cover me. And my special ability is called high energy focus, which makes my energy weapons do a lot more damage. Which is going to allow me to slice these things open. The Sunder here is a definite glass cannon. Uh, so my laser here is a... And as you can see, I'm out of practice using the Sunders. A triple fire... There we go. Uh, a burst fired, super powerful laser that just crushes when used well. I'm not saying I'm using it well, because I'm definitely rusty. Alright, so I have zero flux. I'm going to turn on my ion cannons too. They're pretty short range, but um, 
these ships don't really have shields. Are you fleeing or what are you doing? I hate when the enemy ships do this. Because they're uh, faster than I am, so I can't really catch. Quit it. They're being jerks. Well, I can clean disengage, so... Um, I could just retreat, hypothetically. Alright, I'm going to tell my ally here just to focus on him. Now, there are some ships where their special ability is like a, um, a thrust. Or extra maneuverability, which would allow you to chase down smaller ships like this. But um, my best hope of this picket ship is just to like push him into a corner and corner him to where he can't maneuver around me. I'm not entirely certain he's not trying to go for the exit though. Which is weird because usually automated defense ships um, fight with nothing to lose. Come on, man. You're killing me. Yeah, he's don't going for the exit. Going for the retreat. So I'm moving at zero flux. I'm moving at 140. If I have a little flux, I move at 90. Um, this sh enemy ship is moving at 255. Because he's so small and maneuverable. Oh, so you went for the exit, but you're not retreating. You're fighting-ish. If he was retreating, you'd see him turn and, and literally f run. Okay, cool. Claim victory. Pick through the wreckage. Another Gamma Core. Vulcan Cannon. And some other scrap. And that's the Domain Era Probe. Uh, my second, in or yeah, my Vredog here. Uh, oops, I didn't mean to dismiss you off that ship. Leveled up. So either we can max out damage control, which would give him haul less haul taken, less overload duration, or target analysis, which is increased damage to weapons and engines on first tick. I'm gonna do damage control. And see, and, and next level he'll be offered two different um, potential, uh, uh, two different potential skills, and I'll just pick the my favorite. So here's the desert world. There's another domain era probe. Uh, I'm gonna survey this one. It has a hazard rate of 175. Poor farmland. So not great. You wouldn't want to settle here unless you had to. Um, but I leveled up just from doing that. So let me get the acceleration and go to this domain era probe. There's more automated defenses. So let's hope they don't just flee this time. I'm going to tell, um, this ship here to full assault. So there is full assault mode, which is just like everybody go forward and fight something. And I'm, I'm basically telling my uh, my free dog there to do just that. Absolute crush. Ooh. Don't fire on me while I'm venting. trying to oh these are like engine busters see how they come around behind and then try to get my engine so my other weapons here are on automated fire and they're just like ion cannons to help disable their weapon systems so as you can see i'm not using my big laser i'm just hammering him with um ion suppression 
Ion Suppression doesn't do really anything against uh, shields. It really is bad against shields, but um, if they don't have their shields up, it absolutely decimates. Hyper uh, Velocity Drivers are pretty good ballistic weapons. And I found the location of a planet that has ultra rare minerals, which is cool. So let's see where that is. It is just, let's call it south of us. I know it's not literally south. So we surveyed that, um, that uh, desert world. It's pretty crap for farmland. Uh, you'd really want a world that has um, multiple planets on it that are habitable and worth um, habitating. And um, that system just did not have it. And this system's not going to have it either. This is a crummy little barren world. Now, even the crummy little barren worlds can have some pretty cool things there. Um, you know, science and technology to discover. But it doesn't mean it's going to be worth inhabiting, inhabiting and colonizing. Doing a full assault again. These are more automated defense ships. Come on. Line up. Alright, so this one is a little bit larger, but um, the Sunder really laser cuts through everything. Which is why I like it. Just die already. Oh, not that fleeing crap. Yeah, see? Hit me. Yep, yep, yep. Free hits, free hits. They're hurting my hull a little bit, but I'd rather have them do that than flee for like half an hour where I can't catch them. Alright, no, you're dead. Not my best piloting, but hey, I still won. Pick through the wreckage, a lot more wreckage. Redog just leveled up, and I got even more salvage. Now, because I bought those giant, giant, uh, ooh, I even leveled up. So I'm gonna level up my combat. Um, I bought all those um, massive cargo ship. I'm able to, um, oh yeah, definitely get Helmsman. All right, so his ship is 10% faster now with that Helmsman skill. Now the smaller the world, the easier it is to survey. So I'm never gonna settle this world here, but because it's so small, I might as well just pop a little survey there. And I can sell the survey data to someone too. Um, let me do comms bursts, seeing if there's anything hidden in these uh, asteroid belts. You can also do a comms burst near the star, because sometimes the star has a... Uh, um, you know, research stations orbiting it, something like that. All right, there's nothing here. Well, I'm just about out of time, guys, so I'm gonna end it here. Uh, if you have any questions about Star Sector, um, suggestions for the series, if you're a patron of mine and would like something named after you, you just gotta reach out. Hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you learned something and uh, was entertained. I'll catch you all later. Thanks for watching, everybody. Adios.